what it is, what it do. Greetings to y'all. Boss here. And boy, this ain't something that you hear nowadays more so, but they used to hear it back in the day. They used to tell you back in the day, old school, when the shit hit the fan, you gonna know something. Or you heard somebody like Bernie Mac say, oh, it's going to be some smoke in the city. Yeah, well, literally. Literally. And uh, when uh, somebody's talking about when the shit hit the fan or when it's going to be some smoke in the city, they're more or less talking about when the people are at unrest. And it shouldn't take the situations that are happening because it's been ongoing. It's been more in your face instances happened before and now it's still happening and people are just like you can't get but so fed up because you can't go but so high you know what i'm saying you can't leave shit in the oven but so long until it's past done it's done done it's done done you know and um yeah i think uh somebody had the nerve to say something like i needed to take some shit down because i said something to the effect of if you see something do something I ain't taking I ain't taking shit down. I ain't taking shit down. What I will do is explain myself because what I mean is what I said, and I said that. If you see something, do something. Now that don't mean to you what it might mean to me, but I'm saying if you see something so matter of fact in your face and it's wrong, or you see something that's just so obvious to you that it's an act of discrimination. It's such an act of violence. It's such an act of injustice in your face. And nobody's doing anything. And everybody else seems to agree with you. But I don't need the crowd to make my move. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grown ass gangster dude. If I'm going to make my move, I'm going to do it because that's what I feel is right. And I deal with the repercussions after the fact. If you see something, do something. You know what I'm saying? Bust a move. Move something. What's the worst that can happen to you if you feel you're acting in right? If you, if you feel you're in the right, man, you, that's how you're supposed to go through life. That's how you have to go through life. That's almost like saying, okay, you can't have an act of faith. Because acting on faith means you ain't got nothing to back up what you're doing. You know what you see. You know that shit ain't right. But you know this shit just got real. Okay, well, I'm about to get involved. I'm about to get involved. I'm about to get involved for somebody that I believe couldn't get involved. Or who could possibly suffer as a result. Yeah, most recently we've just seen somebody actually die as a result. Somebody actually is dying. People are actually dying as a result. But like I said, it ain't new. It's ha It's been happening. It's been happening. And it's not time for people to sit back and be like, well, see, told you. You told me what? And you've done what since? You've done nothing. So you have to take this most recent occurrence to say, okay, well, now I'll be more, more, uh, I'll be more active now. Now I'm gonna get my hands in it. Now I'm gonna now I'm, I'm gonna let it get. I'm gonna get full force, full fledged involved, and make a move to do to actually do something. To actually do something. I mean, make a move and do your thing on on uh, June seventh. Get involved on June seventh and see what financial uh, um, actions you can do and get involved in with with the blackout. Do that. That's innocent enough. It's harmless enough. But that ain't all, and that ain't it. That ain't all and that ain't it. People ain't worrying about just not making money or not paying money. But what about what you are going to do? Yeah, I might not buy anything all of the 7th of June. But I'm damn sure going to still be looking around to see if there's anything that I can do. I'm going to get involved and get active about it. You know? If you see something, do something. If you see something, do something. If it's so wrong that you just couldn't possibly consider that this would be okay... I have to pull up my phone and view this. Maybe I shouldn't pull up my phone. Maybe I should put up my doggone dudes. You know, maybe I should maybe I should get active. Maybe I'm just gonna have to say this may or may not cost me to do this, but I know I'm right and I know what I'm seeing is wrong. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna get on in there. Yeah, you remember OPP? Naughty by nature? Yeah, well we're doing PPP now because we're gonna have to police, police procedures we got the police the police's procedures we got to watch the shit that they're doing and if the shit go too far you got to do you got to make a move man 
Then you got to check down there and see if you got a pair. And if you got a pair, you got to act on it. You got to bust a move. You got to do something for two something and get these fools in the mindset of you do it right or you're not going to do it. You can come in my neighborhood. You can be respected as the law, but you're going to abide by the law in my eye. Because when I don't, and I just go by your judgment, when I let your uniform and badge speak for you, I don't like the shit you're saying no more. I don't like the shit you're saying no more. You didn't think it was enough people around to keep that man from choking every guard to the death? Sure there was. Nobody did anything. It didn't happen. And as a result, after the fact, now that he's dead, now we're going to tear up the city. Now we're going to start throwing bottles. And now we want to, you know, beat up police cars and shit like that. And knock over fire hydrants. Kind of a little too, little, too little too late. Because that money that they gave to the families or the money that they give to the families don't bring back the lives that we've lost. And the point that we were trying to make. It doesn't make a point for us. It makes a point for them. It proves that being reactive instead of proactive still causes you to hurt more. You still experience the loss. You still experience the loss. You know? Make the shit racist if you want to. I don't have time to sit here and baby nipple feed you to realize unjust unjust acts by the policeman unjust acts towards another person is not gonna make me feel better if there's a white person getting his ass beat by a racist black person or a black person getting beat up by a racist white person dude i'm not saying that but i don't need to say that because like i said it don't go back and forth enough to where you see a lot of injustice happen to black people a lot of injustice happen to white people nobody else gets a fucking turn it don't seem like you know Nobody, you know, nobody else gets a turn to get some of this. Nobody gets a turn to feel some of this heat. You can't say you understand or we know exactly where you're coming from because you can't possibly feel that way because you can't feel that you're in danger every time you walk outside and here come the police. Like, oh, shit. Like, oh, shit. Should I run? Hell, I might. You might not. I might. You might not. You know, I ain't done nothing wrong, but I can't, I can't base what his decision or if his unbiased judgment is going to have me incarcerated, questioned, handcuffed, searched, padded, my sack get grabbed, my cheeks get spread. I don't know what the hell is going to happen until this man feels it's okay to pass by and leave me alone. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do to me so he can be all right. And he's in my neighborhood where I live and pay taxes, but I need to do everything he says to do so he'll feel all right with me being there. Dude, fuck that. Hell no. Hell no, 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 nope, so, Minnesota can finish fucking burning, I don't know what the hell, Prince ain't there no more either, anyway, give a shit, Kirby Puckett, I think he moved, so, you can get rid of all of that, you can get rid of all of that, I ain't even really stunting that, sorry, sorry, I was just talking to my sister, I love her so, and she was just sharing a story with me about how she is she works in an area with people who are of that era that they don't realize that they give away, they give away their tail they give away their poker face and every story they mention has to include the distinguishing features of the opposite race they're white but everybody in every story they say has to be oh the asian guy the black guy the filipino man you don't think I would follow the story if you just said it was three men and they came in and did whatever the hell you you think I could give a shit about? You don't think if you didn't mention their race or creed, I wouldn't be okay with following the story? There's something there. It's a hang up. It's a tale. It's a reason that you do that. And it's so, it, it just makes, we wouldn't think that that's a bias if you didn't make it seem like there is one. Did you have to approach that situation different because it was a Filipino involved, a Mexican involved, a black involved, a Chinese man? Dude, I don't know what your problem is. You ain't got used to the fact that there are more than one type of people on the earth by now. You have the hang up. You have the problem. You have the issue. And you're going to wreck it. You're going to face the reckoning of treating people like whoever they are and whatever they are is somehow or another your judgment to make as to whether or not that's a suitable or a suitable enough account. You, you're cool if you're this, but you're not cool if you're this. Nobody has that right to say that anymore. And anybody who does have that entitlement is going to face the freaking fire from now on. Walking the street just as an average person, walking around with a uniform on, patrolling as an officer or an official, everybody's going to get policed now. You down with PPP? Sure. 
I'm down with policing the police procedures and everybody else from now on. And I'll make the judgment call and you got the right to do so too. If you can see something, do something.